top of the morning, top of the morning. We're gonna do a quick little Money Monday right quick. You know, down 25 pounds. Uh, let's talk about the label. Let's talk about the deal, distribution, <laughs> deposits, and all that stuff like that, right? So, I've been telling y'all for a few weeks, back when I was even in Miami, I signed a deal. Music deal, record deal, distribution, right? Six figures, okay? So, they say, well, not they say, in my contract, it stipulates I don't get paid for 30 days. So that's why it took me so long to make the official announcement and receive my wire. You know what I'm saying? That's how that happened. That's what I got it. I got my money. We're off to the races. I released two songs already. The first song I released off the off, off the label, The Blueprint. Okay. I released another song last night. It's called Major League. Go check it out. Just released them two, them two singles. I own my six song EP. I'm gonna see how these songs do. I'm probably gonna throw one of these on plus that half a million. And I got four more songs ready. You feel me? So it's up. Now, I also said in there, and in one of my songs, if you ain't made a hundred, a hundred thousand up front for your music, I passed you up. Now, a few people were saying, be humble, be humble. I'm like, yeah, I'm humble. But I'm like, nah, because niggas be thinking it's a game. Niggas be popping it. But I went back to being humble. I said, no, you know what, you're right. Let me be humble and let me be appreciative of what I got going on. Because this is truly a blessing. Birdman said this a while ago. He's like, man, anybody can get any dollar from rap, from music. It's something, it's competent. Because it ain't no work to it. It's just simply it's just talking. That's the easiest $100,000 I've ever made in my life. And I'm not even a rapper, you feel me? Well, I guess you could say I'm a rapper now because I'm getting paid to be a rapper. When I turned to be a boxer at 32 years old, I wasn't a boxer. Well, I guess you could say I'm a boxer now, you feel me? But, so I had to meet up with the VP, the California rep, West Coast rep, all these people. I had to have a meeting with the label. And they, they, they were tired of their artists getting robbed, getting extorted, and they're trying to prevent that. So, they watched all my videos. That's what another thing took so long to watch art. Dissect everything. And it was just like, you know, is any problems you got? You know what I'm saying? In the city, the neighborhood, the country, what to do? I said, nah, I'm good. I ain't the one who, I'm not. I ain't the one who told. I ain't never made no statements. Go over on my file. I know y'all did. So then it came down to other people I could bring in or vouch for from my neighborhood. And what I said was, well, I said, well, it's a big separation. I said, for decades, people in my neighborhood, even through the city, been scared of big youth. But that paperwork is out. So he's a rap. But anybody who's seen messing with dude is considered a rat and a buster. I showed him the video about, you know, cowboy coming to the hood on live, you know what I'm saying? As a registered sex offender, high risk sex offender, the highest risk level in America, and showing his paperwork and him taking a stand. And I said, so if you I said nine times out of ten, you either messing with the rats and sex offenders, which is big you and cowboy now, or you with me. You feel me? And I said, this is my squad right here. We good. But if they're not coming through me, it's going to be bad for them. So they, they said they're not even going to deal with nobody from my neighborhood who ain't coming through me. So, so we kind of like got that out the way. Like you can't even contact the label if you're dealing with Big U. Like they don't want to, no association with that. You feel me? And I explained to them about everything that's going on with all the rats, all the people telling, all the high risk sex and all that stuff. You feel me? So I explained all that to them. Either you with 600 <laughs> or you a big you and the rats and the sex offender. You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't, you can't be no rat around me. You can't be no sex offender around me. You feel me? That's out. So we got that clear. We got that straight. I got my money. You feel me? I got a marketing budget. You know what I'm saying? I got, I, uh, 
marketing budget and I got advance, you feel me? So, nice little 100,000. I ain't spent a dollar yet, you feel me? I ain't go buy no new clothes. You see the whips, we ain't gotta go buy no whips. I got spots already. So, you know, I'm taking that money and putting that money back into music and making more money. You know what I'm saying? I don't need the glitch and the glam. And this also goes out to anybody else who think you need all this other stuff to get a deal, to get money, to get advances, to get budgets. You feel what I'm saying? You don't need it. I did all this without one video, one visual. You feel what I'm saying? Just a few songs and me standing, talk, talking my stuff. You feel what I'm saying? And like I say, they do a full evaluation on you. You feel me? On your whole background, what's going on to eliminate certain potential problems. You get what I'm saying? But that's what I was telling y'all weeks ago. I turned to deal something. I'm like, I'm waiting for official announcement. When they called me in that office, it was on. You feel what I'm saying? And um, it's Money Monday. You feel me? So, you know, I'm going to go jog me a few laps. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, shout out Big Sam. I mean, shout out Black Sam. You know what I mean? Shout out Black Sam. I'm standing with you. You feel me? I'm standing with you. Uh, whatever you need. And you're not a needy person, so <laughs> I can't say that you ever gonna need me. And that's how I am. I got a lot of resources that I never use because I'm not a needy person. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out WAC 100. Shout out the whole 100 side. 100 ENT. Shout out everybody. Uh, it's up right now, bro. You feel me? I can't believe I got a music deal. You know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere. You know what I mean? So, Go check out them two singles, The Blueprint. The other one just got released last night. It's called uh, Major League. Y'all let me know how we sounded, man. And uh, who y'all want me to do a song with? Who y'all want me to feature with? Who y'all want me to work with as far as production, beats? You know what I'm saying? What city you in? I come to your city. All that. You feel what I'm saying? It's up right now. I'm also campaigning to be the rep over here to bring more people in. Like, 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 like once again, I didn't do this so I can go be on billboards. If I do, I do. I did this to get my foot in the door, to open up the door for other people. You know what I'm saying? For other people to come in, get money, get budgets, get advances, and further their career. You know what I mean? So that's what we're trying to do. We're here, 25 pounds down. See y'all soon. Let's get it, neighborhood.